show you how to make a checkerboard cake. Um, now this is a cake that looks super boring and ordinary on the outside, but when you cut it open, it looks like this. Right, so you're going to need four sponge cakes, two plain and two chocolate. Um, and I did this by just baking two cakes, um, one chocolate and one vanilla one, in a deep cake pan and then I cut them in half. But it'd probably be best if you have those like shallow sandwich tins to bake four separate ones, just to make sure they're all the same uh, size and shape, it just makes it easier. Um, but what we're going to need to do is start cutting circles out of these cakes and I'll show you how. Okay, so what you need to do is cut out two circles in each sponge cake. The first one is going to be a big one, just probably about two centimetres away from the circumference. And then you're going to want to cut a smaller circle inside of that one. Um, and you want them to be quite even. If you want to be fancy, you can go and get a protractor and a ruler and measure it all out. Um, but what I do is I just go around the house and I find circular things that are kind of the right size. And I just use that as a template to cut it out. So now for the small one in the middle. Okay, so now it's time to do it to the other three sponges. So once you've got out all your circles, it's time to assemble the cake. And this is probably the most fun part because it's, it's literally like putting a jigsaw together. Um, what you're going to want to do is basically put back together four different sponges, um, but you're going to alternate the colours of the circles, um, like this, I'll show you. So for the first one, I'm going to have some plain sponge for the outside. And then I'm going to put a circle of chocolate. And it should just slot in. Nicely, like that. And then to finish, another circle of vanilla. Okay, and then I'm just going to apply a thin layer um, of chocolate frosting um, before I put on the next sponge. This is um, basically to stop the cake being too dry because it's going to be very tall and you don't want to just bite into just cake. Um, so don't make the layer of frosting too thick, otherwise it'll spoil the pattern. Okay, so for the next layer of sponge, you're going to want to do exactly the same thing, but the other way around. So for the first outside layer, you're going to want to get some chocolate sponge. And pour the centre of that some vanilla. And then right in the middle, you can put some chocolate. If at any point you feel like one of the pieces is too big, just trim it with a knife. Um, but if you put frosting on top, it does tend to even it out anyway. I'm just going to take a little bit off of this chocolate piece. Prepare to get crumbs all over your kitchen when you make this cake, by the way. <laughs> So now the cake is all assembled, it's time to frost it all over and decorate it however you like.
And there you have your very own checkerboard cake. Um, now when you cut it open, you will find that all the different layers and different circles of cake sponge have formed this awesome pattern. And there you are.